statistics. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, well, you know, whatever. Let's get in the game already. But you know, how's your day? It's cold. <laughs> it's, win it's winter. British. No, it's the British weather, man. British weather, it's... British. What, what do you expect from British weather? I, well, I live in England, at least they should give us something. They should give us something. I don't know. A fire pit, something to walk around with. A fire pit? <laughs> a bonfire just holding your back. Just walking around in London with just a bonfire, just like, this is me, keep myself warm. Just keep the bonfire outside the shop, so you just have to leave it outside the shop, go inside. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just keeps a bonfire outside the shop. So it's like, oh, this is how we keep our shop warm. It's like, and then someone just decides, oh, I'm gonna be a rebel and bring a bonfire inside. You do that, you get a fine. Oh no. And then if you steal somebody else's fire, they have all permission to deck you. Why would you steal someone else's bonfire? Because I'm in Bonjour Fruit, they can't be able to get their own bonfire. <laughs> it doesn't make no sense. It makes sense in my head. Like, everyone gets their own bonfire. If your one goes out, that's your business. <laughs> Just people just stealing bonfires. You get like two logs of wood every month. If you go, if you go through that, that's your business. Oh, you God. can stack up on like the logs of wood. Like, obviously, when the summertime comes, because it's really hot. In summertime? I d no. Why? What? Why, why, why stacking up wood for a bonfire? And obviously, different classes get different kind of wood. You mean different classes? Because you know you got the you got the you got the working class, the middle class. What's the fine class getting? Mahogany? They get a nice wood that smells nice. Like you can get the, nice smelling wood, yeah, that burns nicely. What, like the smoke chips you use for cooking? Yeah. Oh god. You can roast some tomatoes and stuff, you know. Cook your own food on there. Anyways, hello, people. Welcome. Um, we are Cosmics. I'm Kazuka. I forgot our mixtures. How did you like, forget your mixtures? <laughs> I was like, wait, I'll speak about logs of wood, sorry. It's, it's I'm very enough. passionate about this. Stop thinking about the wood. <laughs> you stop thinking about the wood. I'm thinking about wood from I trees. Have no, I have no need to think about wood, thank you very much. You've got your own. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my own. What the is this? Anyways, yeah, we are playing for Octopath Traveler today. This is, um, well, Mixion's first time playthrough. I've played through it already a bit. Um, it's a very interesting game, as, you, as you'll find out. I'll be the judge of that. It's a very interesting little 2D, 2D slash almost 3D scroller. I'm coming in there like Simon Cowell. Like Simon Cow. Cut the red X. No, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check the settings. Let me make sure I've got everything right. Well, see, ready? What do you think? Eng we're going English. Oh, but I, saw, I can't speak Japanese. And, get the, and I definitely can't read it either. We'll put the message speed on quick. <laughs> Want to see things just go by. Uh, vibration controllers? Yeah, don't, yeah it's alright. Uh, You're like the only person I know that will complain like, nah, no vibration. I haven't just made this about. I mean, some people don't like vibration, some people do. Who are these people? Who, are you friends with these people? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm sure the comment section will say something. I don't know. So you don't realize you don't like vibration. Have you got very sensitive hands? Are you just just being difficult? You got sensitive hands. Yeah, you have arthritis or something. You know, arthritis, <laughs> arthritis, Ar arthritis, arthritis. See, I can never say that. <laughs> don't judge me. Judge the game. Don't judge me. Anyways, <laughs> let's get started. I can tell you how this game starts off. Move this out of the way. Or on a map. Yeah, we're on a map. Essentially, what is that thing dangling? Essentially, what, what how it starts off is there's eight characters, mm -hmm. right? And you can choose from any of these eight characters that you want. Mm -hmm. So you've got like Ophelia, beautiful woman she is. You got Cyrus. You got Teresa. She's like a merchant. It tells you everything they they do really. It's like starting from the top. Ophelia, Cleric. She's your favourite because you like the way she looks. No, you want to know my favourite, we'll get to that in a minute. She beautiful, don't get me wrong. Oh, the other girl with the backpack and the boy. You know, you don't think a man's beautiful? In, in, listen, listen. C Cyrus? 
he's he's good looking. Don't get me wrong. Cyrus, Cyrus is a good looking guy. I wouldn't date him. But I can admit he's you a good looking guy. I can appreciate that. I, I can fall. appreciate the fact that he's a good looking guy. If he can't make a move on me, I'll be flat. But I'll be like, no. It's like when you watch seeing Emilia Clark, you see it, you like a football. <laughs> Anyone who doesn't know Emilia Clark is, so that Khaleesi from Game of Thrones, yeah. So, <laughs> some people don't know actual actors' names. Fair enough. Then we got Teresa, who's a merchant. Uh, she, you see, it says half action. You'll find out more about that later. And same thing with her talent, the eye for money. Oh, a girl from my heart. <laughs> a girl from your heart, indeed. You got Olberic, who's a warrior, half action of challenge. Do you kind of remind you of your friend? Who? Mr. Fry. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you just went out on a journey, decided you were going to become like a knight for a kingdom. I can imagine with a sword. Like, yeah, no. Come at me. <laughs> Mr. Fry, Mr. Fry could definitely do that. Is that, what, is that what we're calling him now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Fry. Primrose. She's that nice. A, a seducer after my own heart. Alright, calm down. We're going to go back to the logs now. <laughs> <laughs> we don't stray to the logs. If, she's a a dancer. Mm. Yeah, she's a dancer whose path action is alert and talent is summoning people. Oh, so she'd be like a great person to have a party with like... Yeah. I don't know, if you, once you get to know these characters like one on one, like their abilities are all fun and dandy, however, however way you want to do it. You, mm. you can generally like get... It's a, you, you played Final Fantasy, right? Obviously. Um, you generally ha you can stack them up to like teams of four people in a battle. Okay. And like you can get all eight of them at the start of the game, but it then becomes a matter of how do you want to compose your team parties and strategies based on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. You and because they've all got different abilities, some are similar, some are different. You know, you got this guy Alfin, who's an apothecary. Uh, I had to look that up actually. I was like, what the hell is an apothecary? Potion maker. Essentially, he's a medicine man, like the cleric, but different. He can brew all sorts of concoctions with his with his potions. And then you've got my favorite dude, Therion. Of course, the one that looks the most mysterious. The like, rogue guy. The one that has like no like, I can see his mouth, but he's holding an apple. Hey, he's a rogue. He's a rogue after my own soul. Man can steal with the best of them. So if you're not careful, he's gonna steal everything you got. Cut his mouth. You can't see it. What's with the violence? You said you're gonna stir up and crack up. No. And then uh, here's my bay. Why is she in winter? With barely any clothes on. No, oh, no one feels cold anymore. No, do she, they? I think she has clothes on. I ain't no. Clothes. Yeah, she has clothes on. That's some tight knit clothes, fam. You know. But like, just. Oh, she's I don't know favorite. why I saw three legs for a whole second. So. <laughs> <laughs> Some reason I saw three. I was like, why do I see three freaking legs? But, ha but Hane, um, her, she's basically a hunter. She can catch her animals. This and the other. She's, I see provoke. I'm like, she's like an instigator here. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, no, she can instigate a fight if, she, if you need her to. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's that good. Like, if you need her to start a fight, she'll start a fight. Interesting. Even with animals. <laughs> but yeah. So, got those eight classes. Who do you feel like? I don't know. It's your game. Yeah. Who do you want to start with? <sighs> I mean, I started off with Therion before. And, like, yes, his abilities are awesome. But we've got so many people here, so. We'll start with the potion maker then. Potion maker? Yes. Is there anyone you didn't really give a comment on? Alright, we'll go with the Alphen. Oh, good. Oh, it's either that or I was just gonna make us roll a D8. <laughs> that is my choice. Do you want that to no. choose? The dice is never on my side. It's easy. Go ahead. The dice is never on my side. Four. Number four. So that would have been. One, two, three. You go, Mr. Fry. See? Alright, let's go, Mr. Fry. That's his new name now. <laughs> Mr. Fry. Mr. Fry. The Ulbrich. 
Your name is Albert, you are a warrior. Once a proud knight, you lost both king and kingdom in a bloody coup. Today, you serve as a master at arms for a remote mountain village. To what end do I swim my blade? The question tortured you as the night after her this night. Then one day, you overhear a name from your past giving you a new purpose. Be a note. Once we choose a character, mm -hmm. that's who we stay with until the end of the game. So it's like no matter what we do, it's all gonna come back down to him at the end of the day. Mr. Fry. Yeah. Alright, let's go Mr. Fry. Let's do it! For whom do I wield this blade? For whom do I wield this blade? Can hear him, right? Definitely hear him. <clears throat> kind of reminds you of the guy um, from Final Fantasy 15. What's his name? Um, um, Gladi Gladius? Gladius. Is his name Gladius? But not. But. Yeah, Gladius. So his name? Because you got you got four of them. Oh, 15. Yeah, Final Fantasy 15. In Final Fantasy 15, it's. Uh, yeah, Gladio. Yeah, Gladio. That's what kind of reminds me right? Everyone's. When you call him Gladi Daddy. <laughs> Oh god, I don't want to know. They were, they had the hearts for him. Really? It was the muscles, man. Eight years ago. Help! Is he man or beast? Oh yeah, I forgot. We don't, we don't have to do any voice acting for this because they already talk. Majority of the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it fights like a score! <laughs> Except the one you were men, none of you are doing anything about it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but why are you there's only one of you at time, I can't do all of you. Mercy. That's the unbending yeah. blade yeah. of Hornberg! Oldbrook Eisenberg! Oldbrook Eisenberg! You know my name. And so to business. Who will be the next to die? Well damn. Mr. Fry, you got a point. It's you who be dying. Look about you. We have the numbers. <laughs> you two of your men have died. You're not in the position to be chatting right now. <laughs> oh, that, that you're really going. Enemy reinforcements on the left flank. You think they're going to work? Let's see what happens. I mean, I'm the one playing. Wow. Sir Ulrich's side, man. The have had their way for long enough. Oh, they're on our side. Oh, you're afraid. <laughs> you might as well walk away. They might as well. What do you think? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, matters not. We're done here. Baby. <laughs> you know, an Avenger of the two fallen comrades. How dare. Found the retreat. Withdraw to the rallying point. Nothing I couldn't handle. I skipped it. Can you hold this position? Oh, yes, thank you. You make for His Majesty's camp, sir. You didn't do anything. I mean, you, so. you took out two guys. The foe attacked from both flanks. We have no orders from the crowd. This concerns me. His Majesty is well guarded, sir. Sir Erhard is with you. I know this. There is no stronger knight in the realm, other than yourself, of course. Who no, you remind me of? What, who? You know Overlord? Yeah. You know that knight who fought before Eyes Will Go? The knight? Yeah, the knight. It was like the last couple of seasons that he was a, he was a knight but he got killed by him. Oh! Spoilers. <laughs> if anyone's seen Overlord. Yeah, no, yeah, no spoilers. For, actually, Overlord's been around for a long time. If anyone's re-watching it then, then by all yeah. means, yeah. Or anyone who's late to the game watching yeah, it. Yeah, sorry. Then. Not really. No, not it really. should be on, on your game. That you should be on the game when put, it put first down, came out. Put down the One Piece and the, and, the, and, the, and the Baruta and the Bleach and get to Overlord. No, I already have a friend who's doing the One Piece challenge. He's halfway through on 500 already. Listen, it took me two and a half freaking years, yeah. <laughs> you have such trauma. From number one to where I am now, yeah, bro. You have trauma with that. Because I have a terrible attention span. See this? What? Yeah, I have a terrible attention span. I don't care. Surely His Majesty is in there. That's what they all say. Perhaps not. But we must be certain. We must be certain. 
I would know how the battle unfolds. Besides, word from the king always lifts the men's spirits. As you wish, sir. We will hold this ground. Be safe, and may the gods guide your blade. And yours, Sir Ulrich. I don't trust him. You don't trust anyone in any game. I mean, why do I have to trust them? Do you, have, you, do you, you see have, what I mean? Do you have deep appending issues? His Majesty's own guard, slain to the last man. Who could have wow. done such a thing? Think it was Erhard. the buddy. Where How is can Erhard? it be him when he was the other man? You just said Aaron Hart was literally there with like the king and the rest of the guard. Yeah, oh. called it. It was you. And the king's dead. My leash. What is the meaning of this? You betray your ass. And we did. What? What have you done? Ah! Have you not eyes? The king is dead by my hand. <laughs> That's just rude. Do you not see what I've done? I just killed the king. What, what, what do you think I was doing? What madness? What treachery is this? It's called Two Face. No madness. We call it treachery. I thought you a friend, a brother. Brothers indeed. How many times did we cross swords like this in the practice yards? And how many times have I told you? I see your every move, your every strike before it falls. As I see yours. Ah, but you've not seen everything. I saved one trick for the day I knew would come. It's never a good sign when you hear that, was it? Oh, you could be bluffing. Okay, we don't get to we don't get to see that fight. Always the same dream. No, we survived. Walk it off, buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. Philip. <clears throat> Crivens, how did you know it was me, sir? So English. That's not so English. One must Old always be English. on his guard, even when he rests. Yes, a knight. No. <laughs> yes, a I knight. No knight. Oh shit, my past. Just a man with a sword. There's nothing more. If you say so, sir. But there's lots of men who carry swords that can't do half of what you do. Cavalry's here, like a overwatch. Come as my Oliver Twist, mate. <laughs> Please, sir, may I have some more? <laughs> oh, I almost forgot, sir. The headman's looking for you. He says he wants a word. He didn't say about what. Tell him I'm on my way. Hear that music, though. Yes, sir. I'll go on ahead and let him know, sir. He'll be in the square. You know the one. How many years has it been since Hornberg fell? My liege lost. My land in ruin. I wandered aimlessly. After a time, I came to this village. Here, I earn my keep as a hired sword. Hiding behind another man's name. Defending the villagers from bandit raids. Teaching young men how to handle a blade. Not a glamorous life. But it puts food on my plate. A man out. like me knows only the battlefield. Worth only as much as the blade at my side. 
and the arm that swings it. When that blade fails to save my sworn liege, what does that make me? Weak. Excuse me. <laughs> I don't see you out in war. That's why I don't participate. For years, I've asked myself that question. No answer still. At least, not one I like. See? Play the game. You don't want to admit. One thing I do know is that I owe this village a debt. A debt I intend to repay. But that's enough brooding for one morning. Uh, Berg, sir. Ho there. I don't know, now they don't talk. Good to hear it. <laughs> hmm? Two of you today. Usually only one man does does the rounds. Yes. Secret love affair. <laughs> Did you just... Are you accusing them of having a love affair? Not him. No, them. Yeah, them. Because <laughs> you said only one person does the rounds, but I said two of them. Holding hands, walking through the bushes. Like, <laughs> a little quick, quick time. Poor <laughs> <laughs> merchant guide for his for his uh, what for his coin purse just yesterday it was a grizzly sight, sir. Indeed. Do, do you think I can intimidate his voice? Try. Intimidate, sorry. In intimidate his voice. <laughs> intimidate his voice. <laughs> What's the word? Recreate. Not recreate. Copy. Copy or the or another word for it. I can't remember. Imitate. That's the one. These are dangerous times. One can never be too careful. I hear the headman is looking for me. Just so. Ah, you mentioned that, sir. He should he should still be over in the square. Don't know why I'm talking like this, but you know. Trafalgar Square. In Trafalgar Square. <laughs> He's in Trafalgar. <laughs> now, if you excuse us, sir, morning patrol, zoom rounds, you know, a bit of blighty in the bush. Mm -hmm. A little quicker here, quicker, quicker there. <laughs> Gotta take the bush out of the hair. <laughs> accidentally sat on the poison oak leaf. <laughs> oh, the doctor was not too pleased. My mum was wondering, how the bloody hell did you get bloody how do you get poison ivy in your ass? And I was like, Mum, I do not know. Why did it slightly switch between? I know my accents don't <laughs> stay. I love the fact that the accent went in there as well. My accents, I was like, two accents mixed. I don't know what other accent mixed. I was like, well, you just went in the blimey blood class. <laughs> The radar is the map. Use the radar in the bottom right to check the area to find your heading. Your heading? Yeah, that's what it says. And find your heading. So like the green marks are generally the continue story point. Side story points are in orange. Save points are in the feather. Hidden items? That's not freaking hard to find, trust me. I've tried. And there's also just the other little points to other areas. We generally will keep the radar on because we need to know where everything is. Oh, yeah, you can press B to run. Let's hit the save button. <laughs> but yeah, so Greetings. this is the game. What do you think of the graphics? This reminds me of nostalgia. Good, good little nostalgia. So imagine like the little Game Boy games ah, you play. There you are. Oh yeah, no, good times there. They said there's a cave deep in the hills. Not that I've been there. What were those brigands milling about? Um, it's always good when you got like some kind of opposition causing trouble here and there. Hey, little brigands. Hey Pardon me, but would you mind telling me of your travels? I'm hoping to learn more of the world so that I'm, so that I may grow stronger. How is no. hearing stories going to help you grow stronger? Hi -ho. I mean, prepare yourself at least. Okay, it's dangerous out there. No, go train. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
It's like it's, it's like prepare yourself for anything. <laughs> I I could not trust you telling ki- kids stories to like prepare them for the outside world. What am I gonna tell them stories for? I'll I'm... tell you stories when you've trained hard enough. And you get to the point you can't even stand up, then I'll tell you a story. I mean, it's like it's like what if you what if you're playing Pokemon now, mm-hmm. and like let's say it's a real world Pokemon, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden it's like, oh, hey, kid, um, here we are starting in Pallet Town. Mm-hmm. There's a forest called the Viridian Forest. Mm-hmm. Beware of some e- some Weedles. Mm-hmm. They're very poisonous to your Pokemon. Mm-hmm. That's a story to at least prepare them and help them get stronger. There's something poison out there. Okay, so. <laughs> That's not for everything, though. No. <laughs> In that forest right there, <laughs> there's something poisonous. Train. When you must, when you master not to be poisoned, I'll tell you the full story. <laughs> tell you the full story of bull crap. Yeah, it's a little medicine. It's like a little treat. Good morning to you, Berg, sir. Is there anything else around here? Why, hi. No, feeling thirsty. Here you are. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> This is the tavern. Best mead in the Highlands. Oh, I still want to try mead. And no one wants to talk in here. Leave me to drink. Rude. <laughs> Good day. You really went to her. Why are you going back to her again? You got oh, her? my bad. Well, here, went here. This is cobblestone. Cobblestone? Cobblestone. Stone. Our little home in the mills. Oh, shut sure. Oh, look at all the good stuff. How do you have money already? You ain't even done nothing. Hey, he, he's a knight. Well, former knight. I can't even wield an arcane knight. That's rude. Healing grapes. You mm. might need that. Iron sword, war spear, round shield. We'll come back to that. Let's go over here and talk to this guy. He seems to be our objective. Oh. <laughs> I see. One to you both. Philip said you wanted to speak to me. Ah. <clears throat> yes, yes, I'll get straight to the point. We've had reports of bandits in the hills. I see. I see. You've doubled the patrols? Lies. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. We definitely didn't send out those two because they, cause they definitely like each other. Those boys seem to like each other for a long time. They are good boys. Gave them a they little... always look roughed up like they've been play fighting. Oh god, no. <laughs> With the bandits lurking, the villagers... <laughs> what? I think I wait. How do you say it? Darent? Da- darent? Yeah, darent. The villagers daren't venture into the hills. We cannot check the traps nor collect firewood. Go- no, no. Don't look Talking at me like that. Talking about that log spot. No, they, they carried a bonfire no, with no, them. <laughs> no more about the freaking bonfire. <laughs> they talked. They brought it up. <laughs> they just said firewood. Okay, I won't talk about it. Leave but it they me. bring it up again. <laughs> Where can I find these heaps? Feasible woods. That's the preca- pre- precise, you know, precise location of their den. I fear I cannot say. I sent some of the men out, men out searching, but. Bird, sir. In the meantime, could you put the, mil- the militia, militia, through their drills? Our men are keen, but they don't know a pommel from a pike. If you get my meaning. Why would you send them out there? Only themselves so killed. As you wish. Consider it done. Just salvage old man. Mind you go out there. Beg pardon. <laughs> ah, sir. It wouldn't be a burden my my Philip joining the training. <laughs> if he's willing, so am I. Thank the load legs. Oh, he's more than willing, sir, I assure you. Mm, eager. Stop it. <laughs> eager beaver. <laughs> you nasty. I just hate what the mother's saying, yeah. He's been pestering me for weeks to ask you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a brave lad. The boy has pluck and ambition, and he could find a worse man to look up to than Berg here. That's like a backhanded compliment. Wow. Ever since my husband died in the war, you know. She felt so lonely. Oh, God, no. 
<laughs> it's just the boy's getting to that age when he needs a father. Oh, it's that proposal. The... I like it. Just so <laughs> he's looking See? away from me. See? I know, I didn't mean to. I did not mean to say. Your boy is already a credit to the village. Aww. It would be my honour to train him. Then after I think we'll get some meat again. No. no, no. You. You're too kind, sir. <laughs> it's Zelda. Train the lad well and see what he, he does, his mother proud. See that he does, my proud. I see. Like he said, I see, but his comment said, I will. A rudeness. Alright, so, kind of skip that bit, but there's this thing called path actions. Essentially when you press Y, you can get your character's specific action up on the grid. Mm -hmm. As you know, his one is challenge, meaning he can basically get anyone into a fight. Much like Hanit would uh, provoke. Yeah. This guy's strength has like a ranking of 1, so he's pretty weak. He can easily be him. And this is essentially us getting ready to challenge him to a fight now. It's always an honor to train with a warrior of your skill, sir. He will. Alright, basic <coughs> enemies. Exploit your foe's weakness to turn the tide of battle in your favor. Attack the foe's weak point to lower their shield points. Reduce shield points to zero to break your foe. Albert can utilize both swords and pole arms in battle. I'm back. <laughs> Here you go. I love the music for this battle, though. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the battling up to you. Attack. Essentially, you got <laughs> <laughs> straight up. Well, I'm gonna leave the battle to you. Attack. Wait, why is that not working? Um, A. Pressing B. One. Well, have I ever played? I've never played the Tandis before. Yeah, as you see, he's weak to swords. But then there's also a nice little trick called boosting. Mm -hmm. Which isn't a hack like Call of Duty. So you press the iron button? Yeah, you gain, you gain points as turns go by, and as Victory more and more turns won. come up, you see he's got like two dots up there in the top corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, I managed to put a corner on myself. What's that message Yeah, no, you can go multiple times, boost up like four times at once. The battle is garden. truly joined. And you've got warrior skills. Let's see what that does. Oh, oh. Level slash. Abide. Increase the user's physical strength for three turns. I mean, if you do that, if you go abide and then literally you boost up four times the next turn around. You can take him out easily. Mm. He's got good graphics for every move as well. Victory shall be so, uh, boost four times. You can actually hear something different every time as well. Boost again. Speed does. I'll boost again. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll button another. Yeah, no, attack him. Okay. With each battle, I grow strong. And you, get, you also get little bonuses for everything you do in a fight. So, if you literally get like, you can get achievements like untouched, which is pretty much no enemy put a hand on you and you just basically obliterated everyone in no no effort. Mm. <laughs> Done. Oh. too haste. It's important to protect your soul. This is. Hmm. I thought you were supposed to be reading this. <coughs> Sorry, I had a drink in my mouth. But you'll never win a fight if you lack the courage to strike. <laughs> if you say so, sir. 